We're doing oyster restoration work here in the Virginia Coast Reserve to try to replace some of the oyster reef habitat that we lost throughout the, the last, second half of the 20th century when we had a couple of oyster diseases that were really decimating our oyster population. So uh, our job right now is to get hard substrate back in these coastal bays that oysters can grow on and, and uh, help to restore the reefs that used to be here. And the, the reason we're doing that is because these reefs are such important habitat for fish. When you think of a reef, you, we don't want you to just think of the oysters, but think of all the fish and critters, things that are swimming around that reef, crawling around that reef, hiding in that reef, uh, using the reef as a, as a nesting ground. Um, so this, this habitat is really important for all sorts of things beyond just oysters. And those things do a lot for us. Um, they help to support some of the fish that we like to catch and eat. Um, the reef uh, community also helps to filter out some of the water and, and clean it up for us. Um, and if we're really lucky, we can figure out how to, how to design a reef and make that reef so it helps to slow down shoreline erosion and helps to preserve some of our local shorelines. This marsh behind me here is short prong marsh, and you, you may notice that it's an eroding marsh edge. And what we've done here is, is build eight experimental reefs out of oyster castle substrate to try to measure how each of these different reef designs affects wave energy as the waves come off of Hog Island Bay here and approach that shoreline. And hopefully within a few years we'll see uh, which of these designs, if any, are particularly effective in slowing down the rate of erosion on this marsh. The idea for VCR using a drone is to map shoreline change, oyster restoration, and hopefully monitor avian populations that are breeding out on the barrier islands. There's also hope that we could use it to aid in predator management.